Chebian, we keep you informed. I am Michelle Jones, and in the news, me not make no 2020 or 2021 dopey yet, alleged perpetrator said. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment, and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. A man fingered in the death of Trini Police Constable Devon Brown of Williamsfield in Nagotown, Westmoreland, had threatened the student policeman's brother hours before the shooting, stating that he had not yet made any doppy for 2020 or 2021. The making of doppy is a common terminology used in the streets to describe the killing of persons. Brown, 25, was ambushed and shot from behind in his community by a gunman on Wednesday night. His killers reportedly fired a number of shots into his body while he lay lifeless on the ground. The man who made the threat is currently on the run. However, two of his alleged cronies are behind bars. The killing is believed to have stemmed from an argument Brown's family and their neighbors had regarding a group of dogs that was reportedly constantly attacking their goats. It caused problem not the day, and the youth who do the killing look for my next brother and say no make a 2020 or 2021 up yet, but we never take it serious, said Brown's brother, Roy Cunningham, distraught by the murder of his younger brother, who he said was a mother citizen who gave no trouble in the community. Cunningham believes his sibling was killed because of mistaken identity. Him not give trouble, him not make trouble, but he was wearing the same shirt I had on two nights before, he argued, explaining that he was not expecting his younger brother in the community that night, but he helped out a friend of theirs by transporting some bearings needed for a block-making machine. Cunningham, who lost another brother to the gun before, said he was inside his house when he heard a barrage of gunshots. I heard three first. And when I went to investigate, a biker told me I just passed a man in the road suffering from gunshot wounds, he said. Brown was shot by the perpetrators from behind, and when he fell on the ground, they went over his body and finished the job, his brother noted. Cunningham is not convinced that the states of public emergency will place a dent on crime in his parish of Westmoreland because men walk through the bush instead of driving through the checkpoints. According to him, everyone knows who killed his brother. Police reports are that Brown, who recently enrolled and was in training to join the police force and was assigned to the Manchester Police Division on internship, went to purchase food at a shop when he was shot. The investigations revealed that Brown's brothers and some men known as Tatawar and Nairi Richards, otherwise known as Jager from the area, were embroiled in a dispute that may have led to the trainee policeman's death. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to subscribe, like, share. Leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.